morning everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about whether or not amish people show affection so this is a comment that i got on a video from several weeks ago and it is actually a topic that i have been meaning to talk about i just forgot about it so i appreciate you guys bringing it up and we're going to talk about it today the amish community that i grew up in we did not believe in showing any type of affection there was no such thing as hugging or showing any type of emotion or at least not in public and it didn't matter if you were married, dating, or if you were siblings. Like regardless of who it was, you did not show any affection. <laughs> it just wasn't a thing. Now whether or not the married people showed affection for each other in private, I don't know, is really their business. But they have a lot of kids, so <laughs> that's something going on. Like our parents never told us that they loved us. It's not a word that was used in my family, period. Whether you were talking to your siblings, your parents, or anything like that. But personally, I never felt unloved. I didn't feel like they didn't love me at all. And to be honest, it's a word that isn't used, period. And it's not just in my family, it's the whole community. So if that word isn't used in the whole community, you're not gonna know that word. So how are you gonna miss something that doesn't exist? How, how are you gonna feel like they don't love you if that word literally doesn't exist. And to be honest, it's probably why it's not a big deal because the setting that we're in we're, when we're Amish, it's not a term that is ever used. So if anybody had used it or had said it to me, I probably wouldn't even have known what it meant just because I wasn't familiar with the term at all. My dad did tell me that he loved me, but not until after I left. He wrote me a letter. It was one of the first letters that I ever got from him. And he told me that Regardless of the choices that I make in my life, they're still gonna love me. And to be honest, it was weird. <laughs> it was it was so weird because I wasn't used to it. I wasn't I wasn't used to hearing that word, especially from my parents. I remember for like the slightest minute, I was like, "Is he okay? Like, is something is there something serious going on that I don't know about?" Because like, it's so uncommon to hear your parents say that, that when they do say it, it just felt like something might really be wrong. But he was okay, nothing was, nothing was wrong. It was just, I guess he was just trying to tell me that even though they don't approve of what I am doing and the choices that I'm making in my life, they still love me because I am their daughter. But in that moment, it just felt like there has to be something wrong. And they've never said it since, but I think it was just like an emotional time. Like I was making all these choices that they didn't approve of. And they just felt the need for me to know that they do love me, which was so sweet. And to this day, that letter and then the letter where he called my husband, his son-in-law for the first time, are my two favorite letters that I've ever gotten from them. Probably the closest that we come to showing any type of emotion or affection is whether it's your siblings or your parents it's gonna be a handshake. <laughs> and that's the standard across the whole community. When you meet, meet up with somebody, regardless how long it has been that you've seen them, you shake their hand. That's it. <laughs> like, let's say we haven't seen each other in a really long time. Like several of my sisters, when they got married, they moved to Staples, Minnesota, which was about 300 miles away. So when we went to visit them, we had to go with a train and that was expensive. So we could only visit them every now and then. And we're a big family, so us kids had to take turns. <laughs> so some of us kids, unless they came to visit, we didn't see them for several years. <laughs> but when we would finally meet them again, we wouldn't hug. We wouldn't shake hands. That was it. <laughs> but to us, it wasn't weird because that's just what we were used to. Like if somebody had started showing emotion, hugging, or showing affection or praising someone, that would have been weird. Unless that would have been praising God, which obviously that's okay. <laughs> but like in any other situation, it would have been weird or considered weak. And the Amish community that I am from, they are big on not being weak. Like there's so much things that are considered weak. Like showing emotions, affection, hugging, or even crying, all of those things are considered weak. And it's probably honestly why it's not a thing there. And trust me, you really don't want anybody to see you crying, ever. And it doesn't matter what age you are or whether you're a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter. It's considered weak. Like even if you're 10 years old, you're crying, 
that's weak. And let's say you do something really well. Most of the time, you're not going to get a good job or a job well done or anything, any type of acknowledgement like that because you're expected to do that job. That's what's expected of you. You're expected to do it well. Now, if you don't do it well, you're going to hear about it. <laughs> but if you do it well, it's like, okay, that's what you were supposed to do, which honestly, they're not wrong. <laughs> But you know, that goes for whether you're a kid, a teenager, or an adult. And even if you did do it well, you can't be proud of yourself. You can't be proud of your own accomplishments because they see that as being prideful. And they believe that being prideful is a sin, which I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna say it is or that it isn't, but I do think that you should be allowed to be proud of your own accomplishments. And I think that being proud of your own accomplishments shouldn't necessarily mean that you're being prideful. But me personally, I never noticed that I was missing affection until after I left and I started seeing everybody around me showing affection, showing emotions to each other. And to be honest, at first it was scary. <laughs> but I think that's because I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. I didn't know the meaning of it. <laughs> but you know, the longer I was out here in this setting, it just became more and more normal because everybody around me was showing affection, was showing emotion. And I think it was around the time that I started dating my husband that I realized, you know, this is nice. <laughs> affection and showing emotion really is not that bad. <laughs> and to this day, I'm not at all the biggest hugger, but I do enjoy and appreciate it when my husband acknowledges my accomplishments and, and you know, shows me affection in general. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not still awkward when it comes to showing affection to just anybody, but, but it has come natural to me to show affection to my friends or my family and stuff like that. And one thing I would like to add is that even though me and my siblings did not grow up showing each other affection, I do believe we did show each other affection in our own way. It was definitely not the most loving way, but, but if you have siblings, are you supposed to like show them tough love? <laughs> Like hitting them or pinching them should tell them that I love them, right? <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. But what I'm trying to say is we would roast each other so bad. <laughs> like if somebody did something for me and I appreciated, appreciated it, I wouldn't tell them I appreciate that. I would, I would just roast them. <laughs> I would just roast them so bad. And you know, if somebody roasted me, I felt appreciated. <laughs> But like, you're not going to roast a stranger. So if somebody roasts to you, it means they, they liked you or they appreciated you. That's just for, that's how I felt whenever my siblings roasted me. And it's also why I would roast them. <laughs> that's probably messed up. I don't know, but it worked for us. <laughs> I did have one of my sisters apologize to me a couple years ago for something that she used to say to me when I was younger, but I never expected her to apologize because we were siblings. It's just something that we did. We always talked to, talk like that. We would always roast each other about stuff. So I did write her back and I told her she definitely did not have to apologize. Like, I get it. We, we, we would always say so, but you know, we're siblings. We always knew that, or at least I always knew that we were just talking, but, but now some of the stuff that we would say to each other, I'm like, okay, that was harsh. <laughs> That was so harsh, but we we couldn't express ourselves. <laughs> we couldn't show affection. We couldn't show emotion. What we were supposed to do? We just started roasting each other. <laughs> but anyway, that is everything for this week. I will see you guys next week. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hear more of my story. And also follow me on TikTok at itemachiva1 and on Instagram at itachoosehappiness. I will be posting videos and answering some questions on both of those platforms as well.